Ho ho, me hearties, me TikTokers, fellow TikTokers, we're just about to go live, and I thought you'd like to join me for tonight's phone-in. The phone-in is live on YouTube, on Twitch, and of course on Facebook. So there you are, so you can get it live on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and LinkedIn, if you're a LinkedIn person. So dinky-doo, beachy beachy, oh, lovely to have you with us. You should now have a friend request. We're just about to go live. There we are. And we're going live on the phone in now, TikTokers. So join us and dinky do to you, I say. Follow us as soon as you come on. Hello, a very, very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue. And we're live with our international phone in right across the whole of the internet. Welcome, 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 I say. Tuesday evening, nothing gets past me. I've just been joined by the TikTokers. So we're on our way. Now, you've got the number in front of you there, so get into that. We're live on YouTube, uh, on uh, Facebook, Twitch, and LinkedIn, 0141-628-9795. Have you got that there? 0141-628-9795. Dinky-doo. Uh, Scotty McClue, get on TikTok, says Jake. We're on it, Jake. We're well done. So there you are. So come and follow us as soon as you possibly can. And uh, here comes the old wonderful thing. Hang on a minute. Let's get rid of the troll. That's the wee troll Jake gone. There he is. Lovely, lovely. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, dear Scotty. It's Kareem. How are you? Ah, Kareem. A very good evening to you. I was just talking to all our TikTokers there who've just come and joined us. How amazing is that? Excellent. Hello, TikTokers. Hello, TikTokers from Kareem. Welcome, <laughs> I say. How are we tonight? I'm well, Scotty. How are you? Uh, great. Yes, a wonderful day today, Kareem, and lots more contacts, lots more updating everything. So what we've got now, Kareem, is the internet phone in. And that's it, really. Yes. No, I think it's a great name. I think and it's, it's simple. Um, and, yeah, I... I think it's going really well. I'm enjoying it, Scotty. Yes, absolutely. I think it's going to go well. There's Meat Briggs on TikTok says, Good evening, Scotty. Thanks for the invite. And hi from Wales says, My Ura. So never a dull moment. Now then, what are we discussing tonight, Kareem? Because you've usually got something interesting up your sleeve. Um, I'm nothing too, too political tonight, Scotty. Uh -huh. I'm just a bit reading today. And I'm actually getting quite annoyed with some of... Some people really with stupid comments regarding the monarchy, and we've spoken about this many a time. Yes. But just continuous about uh, the Republic of Scotland, you know. And of course, like, they don't seem to realise, Kareem, that that's not going to happen. If they push for a republic, they will yeah. lose any any chance of independence. Absolutely. You know? And I just think it's in grasping. It's, we're nearly at it, and... We've got these numpties that are just trying to ruin it for everybody. They're else. going to ruin it for everybody because, as I say, they'll also isolate 50% of the vote. The old Union Jack Brigade that say, no, 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 we're for the Queen. And you say, so are we. Yes. Um, and it's quite... Um, come and, come and celebrate the Queen under the salt tire. Yes. Well, the comments is just ridiculous. I mean, we spoke about that before, uh, Scotty, regarding... Uh, money and I had to have a. I, I spoke to one of my friends about it because I didn't quite understand until I actually, you know, was thinking it through. And I did say to you that uh, it was like, oh, uh, attractions like just say like the Pleasure Beach at Blackpool that brings in more money than the royal family for local economy. And of course, it doesn't. The royal family. I mean, tourism in general in this country brings in two hundred and ten billion pounds pre-pandemic. Uh -huh. And yes. pre-pandemic, the royal family also brought in upwards of two billion personally. The Queen paid ninety-eight million in tax. You know, nothing, nothing really brings in money like that. Yes, um, exactly, Scotty. I just, I just think it's a lot of hatred, and that's something that's. Are we a society where it is actually predominantly made up of a lot of hatred because you've got people yes. that are going that, saying that about? The monarchy, you've seen what's happened at the weekend regarding the Orange Walk and the yes. and with the big Because you see, hate is easy. And you should never, ever, ever, ever hate 
because the second you hate, you shut off an avenue of learning. And you hear young people say, oh, I hate this, I hate that. They hate everything. But in actual fact, are they going to spend their life not loving anything? Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, I know. It's, it's great. It's, I don't know. It's just... And you see, people want an instant gratification. Now, politicians love it because it's far easier to control a public who are divided. If you imagine you divided the public into 10 separate groups even, then you've got 10 politicians are assigned to look after that, keep the hatred going, and how good is that for their political masters to control? Now, can you imagine... The panic in a politician, if you said, we really don't need you at all, to be honest, because everything in the world is good. Yeah. And yeah. we're all yeah. together as one group. Uh, we don't have any racism because there is only the human race. We don't have any divisiveness or division because, uh, you know, we don't fall for what are you because we're all the same. So we really just need somebody's first name, their handle, so we can address them, and that's it. Yeah. And that's I, an I, inclusive society. I, I, that's exactly it, Scott. And I think at the moment we should be really inclusive. If you if you look what's happening, and if you, we always go back to Brexit, um, regarding all the, the shortages that we've got just now, how farmers, is it like, is it something to do with meat's going to be a shortage of meat. They, well, this is because food. also of the CO2 needed to stun the animals for slaughtering. Yeah. You know, it's just, I think there's a lot of problems that are coming that we need unity instead of fighting each other. We mm -hmm. need to try and find a way to get around us. Um, but an interesting point that somebody wrote earlier on it was regarding, I won't go into too much about independence, but mm -hmm. the, the question was, can Scotland be independent? And someone turned around and said, can Scotland afford not to be independent, meaning that it's, it's, we have to do this. Ab absolutely, like this. absolutely. The only thing is, after Scotland becomes independent, have the nationalists done their job, and is it time for a new government? Um, I, don't, I don't think that's their main aim and goal. I'm looking forward to... if. And, and I say this because I really feel the way I quite, I'm passionate about this, as you know, Scotty. And if we fall for the nonsense like last time, then we absolutely deserve everything that's getting thrown at us from down south. Well, we shouldn't so fall for side. any nonsense. What I think we could do is say, yeah. look, here's the deal. We're going to go independent. Now, if we'll give it five to ten years. If we feel we're really, really, really missing Westminster and we want to be governed from London again, we'll come back. Uh, we could hold another referendum. Yes. Yeah. See, look, yeah. guys, we've had 10 years at it. It's not working out. Should we ask Westminster if we can come back on our hands and knees? Well, well I would hope not that. Um, and, and we would be a very strong uh, member within Europe, I think, would be an, an absolute... I, I don't think it will come to that. You see, we had to beg on our bended knees to join Europe 50 years ago. We then yes. built up our EU, our EU, with, uh, you know, 50 years of peace and prosperity, and we did very, very well out of it. I mean, Scotland, 50 years ago, was a very poor wee country compared to what it is today in terms of infrastructure. Uh-huh. Oh, you know, yes. in terms of its roads, I mean, the killer A9. The Sunday uh -huh. Post ran a campaign for years because there were deaths on the A9 all the time because people would rather risk overtaking and killing each other than uh, sitting stuck behind a lorry. Yeah, yeah. And now it's all beautifully, beautifully upgraded, uprated. There's a motorway between Aberdeen and Dundee. Well, dual carriageway. There's dual yeah. carriageway between Dundee and Perth. There's dual yeah. carriageway between Perth and Glasgow. You know, I mean, it's it's a fantastic country compared to what it was. Where we have fallen down, though, we had a superb network of railways. And Beeching, uh -huh. an English Tory, clobbered our railways. And that was bad news for Scotland. Because you only had to walk a few steps, Kareem, and you could uh -huh. be on a train. Well, I think the way things are going is <coughs> now, Scotty, in the city centres, where it's all like 
uh, cycle lanes and trying to encourage people to use public transport. I think the train's going to be really important. And if we do become independent, I think the public transport uh, opening these stations. Or how many abandoned railway stations are there up and down the country? Well, there's the stacks opening? of them. The only thing is a lot of them have been, uh, you know, built over. I mean, if you go to the West End, you know the Botanic Gardens at Great Western Road and Queen Margaret Drive? Yes. Well, if you go in the gate there, that was Botanic Station. And you can still right. go into a bush and look down at the platform. Uh, now, right. okay. if you go along to the end of Great Western Road, heading towards Annie's Land, there's what was a lovely restaurant. Um, I don't know what's happening there. That was the old Kelvin Side Station. Right. You okay. see, if you went um, if you went up at the lights at Kirklee, you came to Kirklee Station. Right. You see? Right. And then, if you walked a little further up until 1961, you arrived uh, where the shopping centre at Mary Hill is. That was yes, Mary Hill yeah. Central Station. Right. Wow. You know? A lot of, st a lot of stops. A lot oh, of stops. Are fantastic. Not and, Kareem, you could buy a thing in the newsagents called a Murray's Diary. And it was a little purple diary, thick with uh, very, very thin pages. And right. uh, a couple of staples in it. And it had the timetable of every train service in Scotland. Right, wow. And if that's just all the stops you've just mentioned there, think, think what's outside. That's only a few thing. yards. I mean, you could get off at uh, Dunkeld, Pitlochry, Inverness. There used to be a train. When I was a wee boy, there was still a train ran during the night. It was called the Jellicoe Express because it had originally taken Admiral Jellicoe up to Wick to go to Scapa Flow Harbour, where the Grand Fleet were in the First World War. Right, wow. The Jellicoe Express, yeah. tickety take through the night right up to Wick. Wow, that's fantastic. You could oh, travel well, from Wick to London, you could travel from London down to Newton, Abbott and Exeter. Everywhere. Oh. Well, if we get the independence, I think that should be something that needs to be looked at. And also what we've spoke about, which I really a big fan about is opening a lot of ports again to open ourselves to the rest of the world and Europe. Yes, absolutely. And the Clyde, I mean, the Clyde is a massive, massive asset sitting semi-dormant. Yeah. There's yeah. also I mean, oil in the Clyde. We mustn't go too green because there's uh, another 500 to 1,000 years of coal, oil, gas. What are reserves, basically, that we can use for the future? Absolutely no requirement for any shortages at all. Yeah, yeah. and I think if we have the infrastructure in terms of the trains opening up, if you have the ports, like back down at Greenock, Port Glasgow, uh, out the east side, yeah. I, I, mean, I think there's so much opportunity, and I really just hope people in Scotland grasp us. And well, you see, Kareem, I'm, I'm here blethering about the railways. Now, an even better thing was the Clyde yeah. steamers. And the Clyde steamers were partly owned by the Caledonian Steam Packet, was part of the, the railway company. And so was the London and North Eastern. The Waverley was built in 1947. She replaced the first Waverley that was lost at Dunkirk. Now, they were London and North Eastern railway steamers. Right, okay. You see, and, and, and then you also had um, the, what else did you have? The North British railway steamers. Right. You see, and you could get them, you could get them Princess Pier in Greenock. So what's now, if you go to the Esplanade in Greenock, you see the container terminal. That was a beautiful uh -huh. big terminus called Princess Pier. And then every week steamships came in from Canada and America, sat at the tail of the bank in Greenock, uh -huh. and the steamers uh -huh. went out and took the passengers off. Was this... When was that Scotty back in the day? No, well, uh, probably up till the early 1970s. Right, okay, right, okay. You know, you could go to Gurukh at 9.30 in the morning and be in Ardrishig in Argyll at 1 o'clock. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, well, it seems we had better transport back then than what we have just now. That's exactly <laughs> it, and it was very affordable as well. You see, that's the other thing, and the boats had a connection. So you got your train. There was a boat left uh, Glasgow every morning at 11 minutes past seven, mm -hmm. and that used to go to Adrishi, but that was only up until the mid-1930s, up to the First World War. Uh, sorry, the Second okay. World War. Now... Um, later, the connections, so say, for instance, I wanted to go to Danoon from Glasgow. 
I would uh -huh. take the train to Gurak about, I don't know what it takes, you know, maybe an hour of the slow one, just over uh -huh. half an hour of the fast one. There would be a steamer waiting at the pier to take me to Danun, Inelin, Rothsey. So there would be another one waiting to take me to Craig and Doran over beside uh -huh. Helensburg. Right. Wow. Is that, it was amazing, Kareem. It was just fabulous, and it was joyful. Because can you imagine, instead of taking the car and sitting in a traffic jam, going into the central station, having a gin and tonic, and getting the train to Selkirk in the borders or something? Uh -huh. I, I would yeah. do that if the transport was a lot better. And you know, but you know? Mean, even now, like I think I priced it to go to a Belfast. If you go over in the ferry, yes. it's like about two hundred pounds alone just with the car. See, that's that's serious money now. That needs to be very heavily subsidised. The boat I told yeah. you about that went to Drishik was RMS Loch Fine Royal uh -huh. Mail Steamer because right. she took the mails, so she was subsidised. David McBrain, nineteen twenty eight Limited, were subsidised with a mail contract to deliver the post all over the west of Scotland. Right. They also had a fleet of buses, so you could go to Robertson Street in Glasgow and get a McBrain's uh -huh. bus to Campbelltown. Ah, uh, right, okay. You see, so you could actually live in all these places and, and visit Glasgow regularly. Right. Well, I think so much missed opportunity. Yes. You know, just and it's something that definitely can be looked at again. So we need to think big. We need to be very careful. The nationalists are a little bit tiny-minded with the monarchy. We need to be yeah. very careful we don't start thinking small. We need to be uh -huh. very careful we don't have any hatred of the English or the Irish or the Welsh or the French or the Germans. Yeah. We need to be yeah. very careful of all that. We need to think big. Oh, I totally agree. I think just before I go, Scotty, yes. I don't normally agree with Boris Johnson or the Conservative Party, but one thing that what you just said there regarding when I was telling you the price of the boat and how that needs to be looked at, I had the idea of a bridge from Scotland to Northern Ireland. And is that really a crazy idea? Because uh, a lot of people slaughtered them for it. Well, it, it's a bit crazy um, because... But it's not 100% crazy simply because it's only, I think, about two miles, two and a half miles, am I right, over to uh, Donaghadi in Ireland. You can see the Mull of Kintyre from Ireland uh -huh. on a clear day. Well, if you look at other parts of the world, Scotty, like if you look at like China, some of the bridges of how long they are, I mean, just miles upon miles upon miles out at the sea. Um, I, I think it could be done, but like everything here with health and safety gone mad, I think it would take quite a long well, time. Well, your, your problem is the Irish Sea is quite a rough sea. I mean, very, very sadly, we lost a ship in, I think it was 1953, the Princess Victoria, and she uh -huh. foundered on her way across to Ireland. Right. You know, so, I mean, it is a rough crossing. There was a wonderful fleet of steamers based in Liverpool, the Isle of Man Steam Packet Company. You had uh -huh. the Manxman, the Mona's Isle, uh, you know, uh -huh. stuff stuff like that, the Lady of Man, the Manx Maid. And these were big turbine steamers, probably built at Denny's and Dumbarton. And right. they'd been running since, uh, you know, the, the early 20th century. And, uh -huh. um, or even earlier than that, and they were the Isle of Man Steam Packet Company. And people used to go on holiday to Douglas. And on a summer's afternoon in Douglas, you might have three or four Isle of Man Steam Packet Company, big turbine steamers, all tied up. Oh, right, okay. Beautiful. <laughs> so, and people used to go over for the Isle of Man TT. Right. You oh, see? Wow. And so there was a regular service there. You would say, right, we'll nip to Liverpool and we'll go to the Isle of Man. I think there was yeah. also one from Hesham, and you could also get to the Isle of Man, I think, if I remember right, from Ardrossan. You could go to ah. Campbelltown from Ayr on the Duchess of Hamilton. So if you and I had wanted to go, say, tonight, we'd have got the ah. train down to Ayr, walk down to the Duchess of Hamilton and go over to Campbelltown. Fantastic, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Love, 
lovely place, Campbelltown. Now, Campbelltown via Glasgow is 150 miles. Wow. Is that oh, driving? Driving. We'd, we would take yeah. us now probably about four hours to go to Campbelltown. Yeah. You think yeah. you can be in Carlisle in just over an hour? Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Exactly. You see? Exactly. So so that's that's the kind of things we should be looking at. Proper yeah. integrated transport policies for Scotland, heavily yeah. subsidized, so you don't get everybody leaving the islands because they can't afford to get work there and they can't afford to travel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I find these are things that will all be looked at within time, but we need to Get the yeah, but they should be talking about it now. The, 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 the government should set out, here's our plans for the head of state for the monarchy. It's status yeah. quo. Here's yeah. our currency. We're going to use the pound sterling. And uh, Westminster can squeal as much as it likes. Uh, here's our plans for an integrated transport for Scotland. Here's how it would work. Here's where the money would come from. Now, are you all up for this? Yay! Yeah. Right, let's get on with it. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I'm not worried about the monarchy at all, Scotty. I keep saying that. I think that you're always going to have the haters for yeah. whatever. Well, this is what's it's called better. politics of envy. And it's uh -huh. very, 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 very wrong. But it comes, it goes very deep. People that have fought all their lives to yeah. get to the head of politics, particularly people who have fought up their way up the greasy pole as socialists, you know, and they're, they're, they've been accepted, they've got into power, they then start mistreating people they perceive as well-to-do. Yes, no, you I know? understand, I agree that, yeah. It's, it's that sort of thing. I mean, a, you know, a, an example of that was the late Manny Shinwell, Lord Shinwell, a terrific character, one of the early Red Clyde side socialists. And he, he fought his way into power and he became the Minister for Fuel and Power in 1948 after the Second World War in the Attlee government. And they'd thrown Churchill out, the Attlee government, a Labour government, Attlee was Churchill's uh, uh, shadow. And they uh -huh. got into power and uh, he took over the coal board, they nationalised the coal board, took the, coals, um, the coal mines away from the mine owners who had been making fortunes. And uh -huh. what he did was he ploughed up the gardens of Wentworth Woodhouse in South Yorkshire. And uh -huh. that was just out of badness. He went, I'll plough up to the front door of this rich man's palace. Right. And the poor rich man, uh, he was having an affair with John F. Kennedy's sister, who was the widowed, um, you know, was widowed from the Marcus of Hartington, the heir to Chatsworth. And they were killed in a plane crash in 1948. Right. So although his feet were getting coal dust on them in his beautiful gardens, and the people themselves adored these gardens, because the gardens of the big house were their leisure centre. Ah, right, okay. And, and right. Shinwell said there was coal under it, and the head of the, the, mine, the miners' union said the coal wasn't worth the getting. Ah, Right. You know, okay. so that was that. And that, that palace is just recovering now from having its ah. formal gardens ploughed up. Oh, Open you. cast. Right, yeah. So so ah. these, because Shinwell was brought up in a wee room and kitchen in Glasgow, and ah. that sort of politics of envy should stop because these big houses are national assets. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, I get that. Yeah, I you can know. see that. So, Kareem, I'd better go or we'll, we'll be taking the whole show up. I know. I'm sorry. I'm Scotty. Very good information tonight. Thank you for all that. And I'll speak to you later. Thank you. Do. Lovely Thank talking you. to you. Thank you. Thank you. That's our Kareem fantastic chat. What are the TikTokers saying? Uh, we had a federal election in Canada yesterday. It wasn't worth 600 million. Uh, you know, as our PM is in the same place. Oh, gee. The ship is singing. We love it. Thank you for your gifts. Great history lesson. Loving it, says our TikTokers. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello, you're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hiya, Scotty, it's Glenn. Hey, Glenn, dinky doo la. How are you? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm not so bad. Thanks. Brilliant. 
When does clocks change, Scott? Sir? Clocks change? Spring, fall, yeah. fall back? I don't know. It will probably be, I would think, October. Sometime in October. Sometime in October. We'll be into Greenwich meantime round the world on the phone in. Nice, cosy fire, Scott. Yeah, we'll have to get... Well, you see, the fires are dying out because too much uh, carbon footprint. Now, that's Definitely. shocking. You know yourself, Yorkshire, the coal merchant. Yeah. I, I prefer it when it goes a little bit wintry, Scotty, to be honest. Do you like that? You well, my old friend used like... to say, last night of the proms, you could hear yeah, the lights yeah. drawing in. It, it makes the scenery look a lot better. You get what I'm saying, guys. Well, uh, the colours are beautiful in October oh. until the world dies. I mean, Sheffield, you know, when the trees are changing, Sheffield is just stunning. When the lights, all the, all the underlight, all the lights showing from a distance. That's it. I used to say to my friend on the motorway, what's that up there? They went, Barnsley. It's a fantastic camera. It's a fantastic <laughs> uh, scenery. Barnsley. <laughs> E-by-gum, Scotty. Yeah. E-by-gum. I used to say, what's that up there, them lights? Barnsley. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I mean, there's, there's been artists who've made, who's done illustrations over our good um, countryside is all over. Oh, the it's beautiful. And this guy. Hey, did you hear me talking about Wentworth there? I did, yeah, brilliant. Interesting, isn't it? Fantastic. They ploughed it up, the beautiful old house. Never mind, it's still there. Yeah. And you know that house, that house, uh, a bomb... Bombs during the Second World War trying to bomb steelworks. They shook right. it. They gave it a right good shaking and all, yeah, you know well, what I mean? We'll, we'll always have the heritage. We'll always have that history yeah. we, behind us. So yeah. That'll never go away, will it? Beautiful and old that, house, that. All, all that will always be part of our part of us, won't it? No of course it will. Do you remember all in, all in Road, Scotty, in Sheffield? Which road? You know where Super Tram goes? Yeah. From town. Up the hill. There used to be um, a big, like a big kiosk kind of thing, you know, years back in the 80s. I know where you are, yeah. Yeah, a big round, a big round circle. Yeah. And you had like um, off licenses and things underneath it and flower beds and things. Yeah, beautiful. And uh, I like to look at old buses, Scott. Uh, Lovely. Well, the old Leyland Arab and the Gardner diesel engine. Yeah, but looking back in the 80s from uh, when buses were going through town and that. See, see, Sheffield's a class act, really. Definitely, I mean... You know, as a, as a, as a place, it's a class act. And, uh, you know, these old buses up and down the Yorkshire Hills. Yeah. At the same speed, they did 25 mile an hour uphill, 25 mile an hour downhill. Like telephone boxes as well, Scotty, the red and white boxes. Well, they were great, the red boxes. I, I red and Definitely. white in Sheffield, yeah. Now, the white ones, they were a special system, weren't they? They were, yeah. Yeah, separate. And now you've got these internet-enabled uh, phones in town some, in some, I you know. Oh, like have you? Like I haven't been, you see, I haven't been in Sheffield now for a few years. Yeah, Scotty, you, you need to come back. Yeah, I yeah. need to come back. I miss it. I still miss it every day. Yeah. You're, you're still part of it. Even they used to say to me, my neighbours used to say, ah, you'll not stop here, Scotty. I said, well, yeah. don't be too sure. I yeah, said, if they, even if they turned me over in churchyard, I wouldn't be too bothered. I said, because yeah. I feel right at home here. You never stuck to one place, Scotty, do you? Well, you can't really. I mean, you've, you've got um, to. But, but you see, it wasn't really my choice because I had to go where the work was. Yeah. You see, so I'd be it, working for one station and somebody would say, why don't you come to Manchester? Yeah. You know? you you got an affinity towards everybody uh, in every area you worked in there. Beautiful people. I mean, Lancashire. You know, I used to say to people, look after Lancashire for me. I'll be back. Yeah. I saw... I mean, as soon as you come off the airwaves, it's like part of you is gone. It, I, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. I mean and it's interesting, that lady, Sunday night, I know, I thought I'd better take a break Sunday night because, you yeah. know, it's a, it's a busy day. And I, um, it, it was interesting because, like, you miss every day, you know? <laughs> I think uh, when, you, you know, when pre-lockdown, when you first started doing it and... Uh, Doing the goodbye, everybody goodbye song. Yes. 
it brought a tear to my eye, to be honest, Scott. Oh, when bless you, you. When you said that. Bless you, the goodbye song, I know, because we have to, but we'll be back. And you came back, obviously, didn't you? And we are back. I mean, that's the whole thing. Once the word gets round Yorkshire yeah. and Lancashire and even down Midlands, London, the whole lot, Everywhere, yeah. they'll, they'll come back. Definitely, yeah. You know, the back now, I mean, I'm getting all these emails and messages and things like that. Hey, we're we'll enjoying fun in. It's all, it's all compliments to you, Scotty, isn't it? It's, well, it's, 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 yeah, but it's not it's just it's, me. It's the fact we're all together again. It's why, Scotty, you're the uh, creator there. Yeah, but we've just said you can give us a phone now. That's the whole thing. Yeah, definitely. But you've got to take a lot of credit for what, what you've done, Scotty. Well, it's done, no, do. but you've got to take credit for being part of it. Mr. Yeah, nice Goatface one. has sent me a lot of beautiful gifts on TikTok. Yeah. They're the biggest gift of all, communicating with each other, aren't they? Communication, Glenn, that's what it's about. Okay. Somebody the other night, I said to Kareem, I said, uh, you know, how do you actually say, Steve says, can I phone in, Scotty? Of course you can, Steve, number's there. Here, yeah. just let me give him a second, Glenn. There you go, no Steve. Worries. You'll get yourself, fill your boots, la. You'll get Sorry. right into that. Six two eight nine seven nine five. This could be a social gathering for some people who don't even see the loved ones or speak to any friends or family. For, for everybody, because we could talk about the whole country now. I mean, think about it, Glenn. I've worked in Aberdeen. I've yeah. worked in, in Perthshire. I've worked in Glasgow. I've worked in Edinburgh, Carlisle, Newcastle, Preston, Blackpool, Manchester, Leeds, Sheffield, Hull, you know what I mean? Midlands, yeah. Derby, all down there, London. Fantastic. So yeah, the whole country can come on here and we can have a re good crack, eh? Yeah, definitely. I've got a uh, big few months coming up, Scotty, actually. Oh, yes. Um, I'm going to be a dad for the first time. Wow, you're some man. Yeah. Well, listen, I'll tell you what, you can introduce us to a little one on here and you'll be walking him up and down the floor, him or her. <laughs> Yeah. Little girl, yeah. Little girl, you'll be walking her up and down the floor, getting her yeah. to sleep so she can she can hear Scotty. Listen to Scotty, yeah. <laughs> Glenn, I'm going to have to dash, la. You take care. Uh, Scotty. Hey, Scotty. Dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, Scotty. Dinky-doo. Okay. Okay. See you later. See you, top man. Take Ooh. it easy. To the telephones. What's everybody saying in the chat tonight? Hello, everyone. Dinky-doo. There we are. Wonderful. Hi, Scotty. Dinky new Scotty from Donegal. We love it. You're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello, who's that? Hello. I we think you have to start shape. Who's that? Hello? What's wrong with your face? You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? There we are, right, I don't know who that is. You're live on Scotty's phone, who's that? There we are, right. Hello, Scotty! Hello, who, who's that? It's Jimmy! 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 Yeah, Jimmy! Jimmy! How are you, Jimmy? How are you, Jimmy? No, you're Jimmy, I'm Scotty. Oh, Scotty! <laughs> Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Hello? Hello, who's that? Your ma. Your ma, lovely. Thank you, well, put me through to your ma then, we'll have a word with her. <coughs> Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Hi, Scotty. Who's that? It's James. James, right, James, what can we do for you? How are you? I'm beautiful. Yeah, you see, I've seen a dinky do you the hat. Oh, this is a cracker. Do you, do you like all that? Hello? Hello? No. F to Jimmy. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Why do you talk so much? <laughs> what a half wit. Right, he's gone. There we go. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi. Hi, who's that? It's Andy. Andy. Yeah, Andy, Andy, Pandy. Andy, Pandy, how fabulous. Lovely to hear you. How's Luby Lou? You're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Sweetie Gooch. Ah, lovely to hear from you, Mr. Gooch. 
There we go. That is good stuff. Right. One or two dafties coming on here, I should say. I should cook all. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, you're funny stuff. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello. Hello, Scotty. Hello, who's that? It's TikTok. How are you tonight? TikTok, lovely to hear from you. Dinky do. I just wanted to come on the show, Scotty, because you were talking to Kareem earlier on about uh, independence and all that kind of yes, thing. Yes, all that stuff. Yeah, well, I think we should. I think the SNP should be pushing quicker on the issue of independence and not leave it to the hands of Westminster and Commission to get, grant us a next independence referendum. Right, well, we should be getting a referendum anyway. I mean, there's, uh, you shouldn't really have to ask for it to be granted. But at the end of the day, Her Majesty would have to grant us independence. Yes, but the problem is Boris Johnson is not going to give us a referendum. And even though the Queen is the head of the state, but... It's a difficult one, Scotty. It is a difficult one, but, you know, we have to overcome all difficulties. And, I mean, I'm delighted with the Queen as Head of State. Yeah, I, I'm totally... I wasn't before, Scotty, but ever since I started listening to you and all the, the common sense you talk about, it makes quite sense, you know, for a stable... A bit of stability, that. yes, a bit of stability. Yeah. But I do think that economically Scotland would do very well on its own. So does Westminster, otherwise they'd get rid of us. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, Scotty. It's especially, like, obviously, we don't, we're not relying on oil anymore, but back in the day, you know, you see, you see like, the likes of Kuwait or whatever you call it, and, like, you see, like, all the buildings there and the infrastructure there, and then you see Scotland, some of the poorest parts of Scotland. And yes. Just... You see, there shouldn't be any poor parts of Scotland. No. It's a very, very wealthy nation, and we need to ensure that continues, and we need to start feeding our own children. We need to exactly. be free from austerity. Yeah. And Tory, real Scotty. You know, dinky-doo. Thank you, do, Scotty. Thank you, do, Nice talking to you. Right, there we go. Excellent stuff. Now, lots and lots of different things. Suzanne says, hello. Hi, Dinky Do. Says, Humut. There we are. Hi, Scotty. Says, William. Dinky Do, Scotty. From Donegal. Is that real bonnet or a virtual one? That's real. Wonderful. Gordon Robertson. I need to take Oliver out for a walk, but I'll listen on the phone. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, this is Dinny. Goonie. I'm calling up regarding Boris Johnson. So I wasn't Oh, well, you can't be going on like that. There we are. You're live with Scotty's phone in? Hiya, Scotty. I'm getting my second call in. All right. Good one, Glenn. Well, hey, listen, I have to say to you, it's a bit of light relief from the half wits. Oh, it's all right. Then last them calls up. Oh, <laughs> <you> just after. <laughs> wow. <laughs> No, well, these are just very, very simple people with very, very tiny minds. You reckon they've been on whiskey? Or they'll have like been, that? yeah. They'll have been taking something, sniffing something. They just don't know if they're in Weems Bay or Bombay. That's all for entertainment purposes, Scotty. You know, it's all for entertainment purposes. Don't try that at home. They probably will do. You know, but they're not the full the shilling. Their lift does not go to the top story. Actual fact, they're poor souls, Glenn, because they are not able to hold a proper conversation. There's, there's humour and there's just stupidity. Scott. There's just stupidity, yes, absolutely. Steve says, uh, two seconds, Glenn. I know you showed me the number, but I didn't see it. There it is, Steve. 0141 there we are. The TikTokers are with us. Lovely to have you with us on TikTok. I think there's a full moon, Scotty. That's lovely. Yeah. Ah, you're absolutely 100%. Now, joking it apart, is, yeah. full moon. It brings yeah, them yeah. out. How interesting. Scotty, they'll probably think it's a Jaffa cake. Yes, yes. They've just lost it. Yeah, I think... Uh... Here's here's a wonderful organist. We'll call you Friday or Saturday. Have your swell to greet and choir. These are all yeah. the stops on the organ. Scotty, 
Scotty, do you think uh, we'll see the light sooner or later then? What, these dafties? Yeah. No, no. They'll be stuck with that for the rest of their life. They're the ones that sit on the lavatory. They're the ones that should be listening to me. They, I wouldn't trust them to sit right way around on lavatory. A friend of mine's listening, listening to you anyway, Matt from West Midlands. Anyway, he's Matt from West Midlands, Dinky Doo from Scotty from McClure. Cor from Corsley, uh, Scotty, you know the Wolverhampton. Corsley. Oh, Wolves, yeah, absolutely. Guys, can yeah. we have a massive, massive share of everything possible? Twitch, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook Live, everybody share, it's just, TikTok. It's just Scotty, it's just going to get bigger and better, isn't it? It'll just get bigger. The wonderful Maria Knights just joined us on TikTok. Did Thomas uh, message you last night, Scotty? Thomas? Yeah. Somebody phoned last night and we had a chat. Yeah. Remember Thomas ages back? Thomas uh, Peden was it ages ago. Oh, yes, Thomas. No, he hasn't yeah. been on for a while. He hasn't been on now. Wait. We had a bit of banter on TikTok, didn't we? We did a lot of banter, and we had banter on the YouTube yeah. in the mornings. Definitely, yeah. Yes, excellent. Good morning from yeah. Australia, says Frank. People like, listening in Australia. If you if you popped up like into early hours and did a, a couple of phones, you know, like early hours to coincide with our overseas neighbours. Yeah. That'd be a good one, wouldn't it? See how many people are still awake at that time. There's the wonderful face says, Hello, Dinky Do, my competition. Because I she does, uh, she does, uh, she's um, an Episcopalian priest and she does her late prayers right. at night. Oh, beautiful. Amazing. I mean, we've, we've all got faith, haven't we? We've all got to have a bit of faith, haven't we? Hey, you've got to have faith. You need to keep the faith, well, then. Good well, must well, always triumph over evil. We all have our... We've all got to get some faith from somewhere, haven't we? We've got to stay positive, haven't we? You have to, absolutely. You have to. Life, life throws punches at you. You've just got to... What does this mean, Glenn? PYB. 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 I wonder if it's polite or it might be impolite. We don't know. Possibly. I'm not sure, Scotty. Yeah. Some short, There's some Margaret. Dinky do, so Scotty. Some, There's some Egypts. Some so, so, yeah, so, so, reckon, uh, do you do a text talk then, Scotty? You listen to Kareem Daft Numpties trying to ruin it tonight. Is there any way to block them? We'll just cut them do, off. Do you do shorts and then, Scotty, like uh, later, a late or like L eight T R, do you do stuff like that? Or? Do, do do what? Sorry, Glenn. Like like short and on words, you know, like text talk. No, no, I don't really do all that. No. You know, like later on mate, M A. Oh yeah, I don't bother with any. I don't actually yeah. like the word mate. Do you know? No, I don't. It's a, well, it's an English word, but it actually you should only call somebody mate if they served in the navy with you. All right, so it's it's blown a bit. It's said in wrong, in wrong yes. way, then, you reckon? Yes, yes, it's that sort of stuff. You know, so it's, it's out think, of context. I think every word, what we, I think the definitions of a lot of words, what we come out with. Well, I told you, did I not tell you, Glenn, about carrying the can? Uh, remind me, Scott. Now, have you heard that one? He's carrying I the have, can yeah. for him. I have. So you say, I, I think Glenn, Glenn shouldn't have said that. You say, Glenn didn't say it, somebody else... Glenn's he carrying was, the can for him. He's passing the book on to somebody else then? Yeah. Well, he's carrying the can. He's looking after them. It's somebody Glenn, else that did it. He's got, I've got your back. Yes, you've got his back. Now, the thing yeah. is, that comes from the mining days when they used to walk down the mine. And as you know, some of your mines in Yorkshire are very, very deep. Yeah. So a lot of walking involved. So, so a lot of these, what, what's well, well, what you did was somebody had to carry the dynamite in a can, uh, you know, now dynamite obviously was very unstable, so right. whoever was taking the dynamite was taking a chance, but somebody right. had to take it, so he was carrying can for others. So a lot of these words are said in jest and really, not not the pure, pure meaning, are we saying? Well, absolutely. Words? Well, you know, when people say, ooh, it's cold today, it would freeze yeah. balls off brass monkey. Yeah. Now, you think that's crude, but it's not right. Because a brass monkey was a yeah. plate on a ship that held the cannon balls. Brilliant. When the temperature dropped below yeah. zero, 
the plate would obviously expand or contract and the balls would roll off it. I think people should do the research before they say this. Yeah. Sometimes, they? Yeah, scraping you know, bottom of barrel, the days yeah. when they had the, anything that you could eat was in a barrel like pickled beef and, yeah. and salt fish. So you had to get the last of the fresh food. You were scraping bottom up barrel. So none of this original as it said now is it in there. Uh, nah. nah, it's all it's all got that, you see. I, I think like I said, just follow definition as to what where it originated from to Well remember the other day I did the little TikTok. I don't know if you saw it about talking Latin. Oh well, I didn't I didn't catch that one. Well, talking yeah. Latin, you see. So you say, to, if I said to you, do you speak Latin, Glenn? You go, no, I don't, Scotty. Yeah. I say, have you ever watched a video? You well, of course I have. Video is I see in Latin. Scotty, you're unbelievable. You know, video, yeah. I see. It comes from the Latin videre, videre, to see. So everything's not as it seems, is it? No. There? No, now it's as it seems. Things are seldom what they seem. The twenty first century, things probably come out way. Yeah. Look at the death. Look at where they, all these all these things started from. Really. Yeah. It? Well, as a guy said to me, he says, he says, hey, <laughs> if you knew what was going on, Scotty, you'd be very disappointed. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? But here's Fine, another one for you. Have you ever heard the saying when somebody goes, "Oh, well, that's taking guilt off gingerbread." I have, yeah. Now, again, a seagoing phrase. So, do you remember them old sailing ships? And up one end, at the, at the, at the stern, at the back end, was a, like an house. Oh, yeah. And it was where the captain had his cabin and the officers were and all that. Now, because it were a bit cool. posh, they used to put like gold leaf gilt round the woodwork. Oh, yeah. Now, if the ship banged into the harbour, you know, by accident, oh. they would say, well, that's taking guilt off gingerbread because the fancy house was known as gingerbread. And there's a, there's a part about that one, brought the camel's back, is it? With, with the the straw that broke the camel's back? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, I don't quite know what the last bit that was, but they must have put a bit of straw on. I think I'll, uh, I'll start. Reading and I'll start doing some research now into these. Things. Oh, these are absolutely gorgeous. These things. Now you've uh, now you've filled me in a, a little bit. Yeah, also, unaware Li of it. Little bits of that going on, and there's stacks and stacks of them. Yeah. You know, and it, it makes complete sense. Yeah, it's come from somewhere, hasn't it? You know, you think, ah, oh, I've got you now. Yes. It's come from a bigger, bigger picture, really, hasn't it? You know, and, and other it. things, we used to use maritime sayings, like if things were going wrong, you said, well, he's on a lee shore and he knows it. The wind's in yeah. the lee, it's driving you on shore, you see. Yeah, probably. Ah, he's on a lee shore with that, I'll tell you. There's, there's loads, of, there's loads of, mm. uh, there's, lo there's a lot on them. Yep, it's, 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 it's all that, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll press on and it's wonderful. I don't think we'd say it otherwise. I don't think if we knew the real meaning behind them. Well, this is it. We don't. We don't always know the full meanings, you know. But it's good to have all that. There's a more intellectual meaning to them than how we say them. Isn't yeah, there? yeah, absolutely. And Definitely and and you see, they used to have hard tack at sea, so they had these what you called a ship's biscuit, and yeah. you used to tap the biscuit in case it had any little creatures in it called weevils. Fantastic stuff. You know? So you'd give the biscuit a tap before you ate it. Brilliant. It's, it's amazing. It's, 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 a, it's a brilliant thing to think of. Yeah, it's fantastic. And remember we talked about um, going on the port side on the way out in the ship? Yeah. And coming the starboard side on the way back. Mm -hmm. So you had port out, starboard home, posh. Uh, Scotty, this, this, these lessons could go on forever. People that were posh, you see. Oh, could, yeah, they that. could afford port out and starboard home. 18th century and 19th century, isn't it? Yeah, going out to India by ship. Yeah. Yeah, I love to dash, la. Lovely to hear uh, you. Thanks for, thanks, for, thanks for listening anyway, Scotty. No, no, thanks for coming on. Always a privilege. Take care, Scotty. Dinky do, doo, la. All the very, very best here. Ta da, la. Right, you're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Hello? 
Hello, who's that? It's Steve from Ilkley. Steve from Ilkley. Hi, I'm here. How are you? What a joy to hear from you. I love it. I've been talking to you loads lately. Yeah, absolutely. And have you, have you ever been, have you been on, you're on TikTok there? Yeah, I know, yeah. That's wonderful, Steve. And Ilkley, of course, as we're saying, have you been on Ilkley Moor Batat? Calf. Fantastic. It just rises up above the town. I love Ilkley. Yeah, I do. Yeah. And that's oh, where God. I got one of me one of me caps, one of me bonnets. Oh god, yeah. The outfitters in the main street. God. I've been following you for a long time. Wow, Steve, you're some man, I'll tell you. Back from when you were on TFM. TFM, wow. Did you used to listen to TFM? Yeah. Do you know Scotty McClue was very, very, very successful on that station? You were, you were. Huge. I really used to enjoy watching it, listening to it. So. And do you remember they used to shout at us, we don't want you? I said, well, you've got me. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Uh, it was great. They used I'll, tell you, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, I miss one thing. is your Dinky Doo song. <laughs> the, the Dinky Doo song was brilliant. And I can't play it because we've got a copyright strike. Uh, <laughs> you know? Listen, here's Nicky says, Mr. McClure, say happy birthday to my dad. He's about to go to his bed. It's nearly 10 p.m. here. <laughs> <laughs> I love all that. You know, we've got TikTok. We've got YouTube. We've got Twitch. We've got yeah, LinkedIn. Yeah. And, and we'll, yeah. we'll grow. You know, we'll grow all that. We will, yeah. Absolutely. Steve, how is Oakley doing tonight? Is it beautiful? It's been a nice day, yeah. Yeah. It's been away. Absolutely lovely stuff. It is. Just what we... Well, Hello. what a joy to hear you. It is, yeah. It's nice to hear you as well. After... I've another sport to you. All these... This but is I'm just great carry, after all these... I'm going to carry on speaking to you. I'm going to carry on... Anytime. It's lovely. Me. So, yeah. You come on, because also, anybody from Yorkshire, free pass, you know? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only honorary Yorkshireman in the world. Yeah, I got you a good block. Because you, you need to live in Yorkshire for over 200 years before they accept you, right? Yeah. yeah. But they, they said to me, no, no, you're, you're Yorkshireman. We don't believe any of this Scottish stuff. <laughs> Well, like I say, I've followed you for a long time. I tell you what, you're a good bloke and you, 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 do, you help people, you talk to people, you do everything you can. Well, we, we hopefully do what we say on the tin. Exactly. <laughs> Stay great care of yourself, Steve. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, we'll catch up again. Dinky do. We will, we will. Dinky do. See you there, la. Bye, See you there. Bye, bye, bye. See you now, la. <laughs> there we are. That's Steve from Yorkshire, Ilkley. Ilkley Moor, evening hour, Scotty, I'm late. Sorry, says D. Not at all, D. Jerry, I'm not with you, says Dave. Gang of youths, normally male. So there we go. It's the same as pal, dude, sunlight, etc. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty, it's Kareem. I'm going to use my second call. I tonight, think you okay. should. Hello? I think you should use your second call. Ah, thank you, Scotty. No, I just want to say, Scotty, I've really enjoyed tonight, but as your show uh, develops and grows, and you're going to get the numpties that are going to phone in and trying to ruin it for them. You'll always get the numpties, but we'll just send them off down the swanee. So what we'll do, we'll click them off as soon as they say something and then give them a lifetime ban. Ban, absolutely. And then they'll not be able to come back on ever because they've blown it. So they'll never, ever learn and they'll never develop. Absolutely, and they can sit and listen and not participate and engage if that's what they're going to do, if they're going to be really immature. Yeah, absolutely. You see, what I used to get from a lot of youngsters when we were on Scott FM, I told you the head of Radio 1 came to hear me at the conference because he was just wiped out by the fact I had such a big youth following. Uh -huh. And what we found was that a lot of these young people came on trying to troll you and ended up loving the phone-in. And Absolutely. still to this yeah. day, I get people in their 30s coming up to me in the street and going, Scotty, you'll not know me, but I used to phone you as the whatever, you know, and, um, uh, you know, and, he, and my mates and I, 
And they used to come on giving the impression they were very mature, going, we'll run you through with a sword, McClure. And then you would hear their mother come in and go, right, you get that off and get your beds. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, but, you know, look, if a lot of them will probably listen and, you know, in time, you know, it will grow on them because, like, if they're immature, they, they need to mature at one point, you know. Mm -hmm. And this is quite a mature uh it's a mature station. Well, we do talk, talk a lot of sense. I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing, though. We're quite yeah. male-oriented at the moment, and I want to build up my uh, ladies' side of it because they're also very good on the phone in. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes. There's Granny Skittles says, Great to hear your chat, but it's past my bedtime. Night, night, pal, kiss. <laughs> and there's <laughs> Ty Talk says, Scotty, I'm young and not immature. No, I'm not saying all young people are immature, far from it, because we've got a lot of mature people, uh, I'll say mature elder people, yes. that probably act a lot worse or really immature. Oh, there's a lot of daft people. old people as well. You know, I mean, absolutely, just not a problem, Kareem. But we're going to encounter that because we're open to the heavens. So, absolutely. you know, that's yeah. what we've done. We don't um, do any... Um, screening calls and things like that because i i think the best phone ins you don't uh -huh. yeah yeah you know i think that's what it's about there's cammy gray says hello scotty how are we what's tonight's topic of conversation there's chris saying greetings from scapa flow in texas wow now that's beautiful isn't it uh, yeah yeah. Well, listen, Scott, if I was just for a minute to see that. Anyway. I think you should, sir, and, and you're absolutely 100% correct, but we'll see how it goes because the public understand, and McClure is fairly adept at handling most of these idiots. All right. Scotty, I, I've heard you, when I was a wee teenager uh, back in the 90s, I, I heard what you were like. <laughs> I couldn't afford you back in the day. I'd be too, I'd be too scared. <laughs> well, no, not at all, but we used to give them what for. Yes, absolutely. And do you know what? Sometimes I think that's still needed nowadays. We so might do a bit of that. We might do the old don't you phone me ever again stuff. <laughs> yes. Brilliant. Listen, I'll say thank you to you and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Have a great day. Top okay. man, Kareem. Bless you. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Fantastic. What a great show tonight. My goodness me. Can't believe it. Just wonderful. We've only got about three minutes left. No worries, I'm a Glaswegian. Now take your point, Scotty. Hope you're well. What kind of stuff do you talk about in your lives? So like we talk about everything. Uh, there we are, Jerry, on a different dimension. I speak English. We obviously have language grammar differences. You're live in Scotty's phone, and who's that? Hello. Hello. Hi, Kareem's a dafty. Come on. Not as much of a dafty as you. You're live in Scotty's phone, and who's that? Hi, Scotty. Hello, who's that? Uh, hello, how are you okay? I'm beautiful. Yeah, that's good to hear, good to hear. So what did you reckon about the armed walking um, on Saturday then in Glasgow? Well, I thought it was it was very strange, but I think it went off not too badly. But I was thinking maybe we should send them out to walk the countryside. The countryside? What yeah. is that? Yes, so instead of going through the city, you go out into the country for an arms walk. Maybe up, up, up is Ben Nevis. Oranges, or is that to collect the apples? What are you collecting at the countryside? At the countryside, yes, indeed. Collect your oranges. Will you table the conversation on Divins' opinion? No, Cammy, we don't discuss the pandemic. That's for mainstream media. I'm going to have to dash. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scott. Hello. Hello, it's Murray. How are you doing? Murray, how are you doing, sir? Good to hear you. Yes, I was looking for a wee bit of advice. I know you're a, an experienced motorist. Oh, um, well, a little bit, yes. <laughs> and I'm trying to keep uh, the old Jag decent. Um, so I'm looking for a wee 4 before for the winter. Uh-huh. You, you uh, I once bumped into you in Strip Lane of all places, just coming out the bank. You were in a Subaru Forester, I believe. Uh, no, that wouldn't be me. It would be uh, an elderly Range Rover. Ah, that, 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 easily, easily mistaken. Easily mistaken. Um, so I'm, I'm 
I'm considering getting a wee run around four before for the winter. If you're looking at that, then um, have a look at the Freelander 1 diesel. Reliable. Very the the diesel. Right. I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, push you towards the petrol, but have a look at the diesel. Yeah, sure. I'm at Man of the uh, knowledge and on, on all Freelander like one that. and and I mean there were problems with the drives in some of the early ones, but have a look yes. at that and see if you can even get the earlier one with the Rover engine. Right, okay. The other one was a BMW engine, which is obviously an excellent engine, but Rover put a lot of research into their early diesel. Well, I'm half shaft, so you have an issue on these motors. Well, they were, yes, absolutely. Well, there's 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 always drive problems, um, but if you can see if you can get a good one, there was also a revamped model. So if you're just if you're not wanting to splash out too much. You could look at that. Another thing you could look at, depending on your budget, is the Freelander 2. I was actually looking at Japs, like we Suzuki SX4s. Yeah, they're beautiful as well. I don't know them, but the Japanese motors are very good. Another one I, I hear good things about is the Mitsubishi. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a 1.6 DDI SX, SX4. Yes. Um, and they seem to be quite good value and pretty reliable. Very reliable. The small diesels. I mean, Japanese cars, you know, if they've been properly serviced and looked after like any vehicle, you know, they, they can be excellent. But take your time. Don't be rushing. You've got a month or two. Oh, yes. Aye, aye. You know, you can tell the, the seasons are changing. Yes. The swallows are away now and um, the leaves are turning. And they, this is it. And, this is it. Hang on a second. I'll have to say night-night to my TikTokers. They've gone. Night-night TikTokers. <laughs> <laughs>